Yeah, hello and how are you? Hey friends, welcome to the Shin Show. I am your host, Shenandoah Briscoe, coming to you from right here in St. Charles, Missouri. Hey, that's where I usually come in from, don't you know? Sitting over here on the north end, that's right, I'm on the north end of town and I'm really making ground. Sitting over here in my house, I ain't going outside because it's too darn cold. Well, it's probably warm enough, but the rain is coming down, so I'm just a sitting around here in my house, affected by COVID-19. It ain't bothering me, cause uh, uh, my routine ain't changed. It's too bad and nasty for me. Outdoors, well, I ain't going outside. I'm just going to sit and stay alive here inside my home. Oh, COVID-19, you ain't got a thing on me. I'm just going to stay in Rome. I can't wait till the sun it is starting to shine so I can get out and get online. I'll be down on the KDA trail going to go from this end to that. But I'll be there laying all the time. Well, I'll fix myself a spot up on the riverside looking at the people as they're driving by. Well, watching as they go fishing too well i'd like to get out in their motorboat but you know how i don't go on motorboats in my wheelchair it just don't fit it doesn't work all right anyway that being said today is thursday may the 21st of 2020 that is the year 2020 all right, we got a happy birthday shout out to Dana Jennings. That's right, Dana Jennings. We're back. That's Todd's little sister, you know. Todd was a a, 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 a a skin beater. That's right. He used to beat the skins. A drummer, that is. Um, uh, for a group called uh, Ronnie Rideout or Donnie Rideout. 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 Um, what was his name? Ronnie Rideout. Anyway, uh, was the lead singer, and uh, um, Todd was the drummer, and uh, Dana was his uh, younger sister, and Dana was uh, Steve's uh, wife, girlfriend. I don't know, but they had a beautiful daughter, and well, that being said, all that's nice. <laughs> Go to sleep. Here I am. Got all this chunk on here. Wake up. Backspace. 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 Go to sleep. Jeez whiz, I was typing all over the place. I didn't even want to type all over the place. But that's beside the point. Okay, now I'm back. Anyway, uh, um, beautiful daughter. Anyway, happy, happy, happy birthday to ya, Dana. And so here we go. Without further ado, it's a birthday song. For you. I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. Oh, so Dana, so many blessings and new birthdays on your way. I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So have a merry, very happy day. You know, you're one more year older today, so happy birthday to you today. I said, hey, I heard it's your birthday today. So, hey, Dana, have a happy birthday, I'm going to say. You know, you want more your own or older today, so happy birthday to you, I say. And many more. Chug, 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 chug. chug. All right, all right, all right. That being said, I got some Facebook pokes. Yeah, that's right. People have poked me, and I poke them back. I poke them back right here on the show. I also poke them back on the Facebook, but I poke them back on the show, too. Uh, like, uh, Facebook pokes was uh, Melissa Holtz, a poke, a poke, a poke, and Crystal Arnold, a poke, a poke, a poke, and Amanda Sue Little, a poke, a poke, a poke, 
and Karen Sanders of Poke 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 Poo. All right, the, all the pokes are out for the four of you. Now then, up, Amanda Sue Little taught me a new term today. Um, a research project. Now, see, I had no idea what a research project is because, well, I am old. And I did not know that this was a business term for internship as a research project. That's right, it sure is. And it's where you go and you work there for a year or so and, and you learn on the job training, which is you get to, I guess, you get to learn all the aspects of the place that you're working at so that you can, in fact, run your own whatever it is what that you've been working at. I'm a hoping. I'm hoping that's what it is. Now, in my case, I surely would like to be able to do that, but these days, uh, I can't really do it. I've done most of it all before. I mean, I've done house cleaning. I've done, uh, I've done maintenance. I've done auto mechanics. I've done drywall repair. I've done, you know, I could do everything that it takes to do the job that she was doing. Plus, um, I, mm, Dabbled in business management and uh, that and customer relations. So, I mean, all of these things uh, are quite possible that I could possibly do the job that she was interning at as a pro uh, um, a um, project. Uh, um, um, a what was the word I said a minute ago? I, I said it a minute ago. Project, not project manager, project study. Yeah, that's what it was, project study. So there you have it. Thank you, Amanda Sue Little, for teaching me a new word. Not necessarily teaching me per se, because I looked it up, but still, I had no idea that these things existed because, well, I'm old and, well, we didn't have them when I was younger. That would have been a cool thing. Of course, I pretty much done that with my... One of my jobs, um, I was a sprinkler systems installer for, uh, um, what company is it, by golly? Um, oh, shoot, I even made a jingle. Um, diddy, 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 dum, deep, dum, dum, dum. You wouldn't expect me to be able to make up a jingle for a place, would you? Uh, Metro Lawn Sprinklers, that's what it was. Metro uh, Lawn Sprinklers. That's right, you grow up that grass and we'll cut it down so it can grow up and we can cut it down again. All right, anyway, how about today's weather forecast brought to us by, um, who else but other than, let's uh, get, oh, it's, it's the other one. It was that one there. Who else brought to us by, would you come up and stay up there for a minute? Oh, the thing's not on, no wonder it ain't clicking. Duh. There, Family First Home Health Care. That's right, Family First Home Health Care, LLC. Speak to Brandy or Tracy um, by contacting them at 636-734-9802. That's 9802, not 02, because O is a letter and 0 is a 0. The 0 is a number and O is a letter, so don't ever confuse yourself by saying 9802, because it's not. Anyway, that being said, cell phones, uh, 636-757-3811. And you can contact them between the hours of 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. Official, uh, the uh, official location of the office is 111 Westport Plaza, Suite Number 600, St. Louis, Missouri, 63146. Or you can contact them on the web at Family First. Health care, home health care, dot com, or at gmail dot com. Anyway, that's family, F A M I L Y. First, that's one S T H H C, home health care, H H C. So there you go. Connect them with them any ways that you can. They're looking for people to work in St. Charles, in the St. Charles area. That's right, all the way out to St. Lake, Lake Louis. Lake St. Louis. They got people out there in Lake St. Louis, O'Fallon, um, uh, St. Peter's, here at my house, at my house, and uh, all the places along there. So 
That's what I'm saying. Anyway, we got cloudy skies outside today with highs near 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be east to southeast at uh, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Partly cloudy uh, skies overnight with lows around 57 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds light and variable, meaning less than 5 miles per hour. All righty, Friday, May the 22nd. Partly cloudy skies in the morning will give way to cloudy skies during the afternoon. A stray shower or thunderstorm is possible. Highs around 79 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south to southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Variable clouds with scattered thunderstorms overnight. Lows around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Clear uh, chances of rain 50%. Alright, 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 we're just going to jump on out of that and we'll go up here to Saturday, May the 23rd. Cloudy skies early will be coming partly cloudy later in the day. A stray shower or thunderstorm is quite possible. Highs around 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds are going to be south to southwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Scattered clouds with uh, the possibility of isolated thunderstorms developing overnight. Lows around 68 degrees Fahrenheit and winds south to south uh, at south, just straight up out of the south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 30%. Sunday, oh, Sunday you say? Monday, or uh, Sunday, May the 24th. That's right, Sunday, May 24th. Partly cloudy skies, scattered thunderstorms developing in the afternoon. Highs around 88 degrees Fahrenheit, winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain near 40%. And then partly to mostly cloudy with scattered thunder showers overnight. Late at night, that is. Um, lows near 69 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds uh, south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain 40%. And then Monday to wrap up our five day forecast. Scattered thunderstorms, highs around 84 degrees Fahrenheit. Winds south at 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 60%. Scattered thunderstorms, lows around 69 degrees Fahrenheit. And winds uh, are going to be south at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Chances of rain, 40%. That's 40%. Percent. Now, let's see. Sunday. Sunday, I believe, is Father's Day. Um, I'm pretty sure May 24th. May 24th. No, it's not. When is Father's Day? Well, it certainly ain't on that calendar, but that calendar says April yet. So, I guess we'll just check. What day is Father's Day for 2020? Sunday, June the 21st. Sunday, June 21st. Okay, that's June. So April, May, June. So that's next month. We got a month to go yet for Father's Day. Here I was, chicken my accountants before they were hatched. Anyway, um, that's about it for the weather forecast for us. And so, forest, forest, forest. <laughs> Anyway, that was brought to you by Family First Home Healthcare, LLC. Speak to Brandy or Tracy. Um, Tracy Berry is the owner and operator. Business phone is 636-734-9802 or cell phone at 636-757-3811. All right. That there does it. Um, that is the end of the weather. Mm, brought to you by Family First Home Health Care. All right. Now, uh, let's see what's next. Whatever is next is going to be brought to you by Wallace Resale. That's right. Well, what did I just do? Wallace Resale. Brought to you by Wallace Resale. Um, uh, they are on Facebook, and you can get a hold of them. By going to Facebook and peruse their Facebook page. See what kind of items you would like to have and purchase. 
and then uh, contact them through their messenger. And either Rick or Don, Don, not Don, but Don, will get back with you, and um, y'all can have a conversation or whatever there on their on their Facebook page, on their Facebook page there, and um, that way you'll know what the wherefores and the whatnots are about getting your purchase. All righty then. Let's see what else is going on here. I don't know. Anything going on in St. Charles? Well, let's see if St. Charles is opened up. So let's see if there are any things to do. Events. Let's check out the Missouri uh, St. Charles events. See if anything is happening. Well, it just doesn't say anything yet. Nothing yet. No events yet due to the coronavirus. Which makes no sense. We're all locked down still today. Welcome to the city <laughs> events. I want what's going on this weekend. Doink. I used to just click events, so we'll see. It says, St. Charles, things to do, things to eat, things to events. That's what I want. Main Street, there we go. Now we got some events showing St. Charles events. The St. Charles is rich in both history and unique events with uh, active activities for residents and visitors alike. Whether you are planning to visit or to see one of the many area events uh, or looking for activities while you are here, the following calendar of events should provide you with all the information that you need. Okay. All right. There we go. What do we got going? Well, June the 6th, 2020, special events. St. Charles Farmer's Market is going to reopen. That's right, St. Charles Farmer's Market opens up on Sundays, uh, down at the, uh, or Saturdays, I guess, reoccurring week, weekly on Saturdays until October the 21st, and they open up in the uh, parking lot. Uh, oh, wait a minute. St. Charles Farmer's Market is operated by the St. Charles Lions Club and offers produce, baked goods, jams, eggs, uh, soups, and much, much more. And where are they going to be located? Because they used to be located down there at the um, art, uh, that is, okay, Family Art Center parking lot. There you go. The Foundry Art Center parking lot. Um, from uh, 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. 7 a.m. to noon, Farmer's Market located at the Foundry Art Center parking lot. There on Riverside Drive. All right, all right then. Let's see. I'll go back and see what else they got going. Going on. There ain't nothing going on this month though. It doesn't look like it's all gonna be next month. But they do have the St. Chuck's Derby Chicks. St. Chuck's Derby Chicks are a roller skating team, and they will roll around doing roller derby. I would imagine it's kind of like roller derby. It is roller derby, flat track roller derby, by the way. And they are at the Art Foundry also, um, the other end of it, way down at the other end of it, um, down there by, um, what is that little store there on Main Street that's the, uh, um, it's a music store, Driftwoods, that's right, Driftwoods. Anyway, um, the, oh, free concerts on Beale Street are canceled, canceled, the free Beale Street uh, concert series the second weekday, I mean the second Wednesday of each month, Monday, uh, May, month May through October. Food and beverages are provided by the wonderful restaurants at the streets of St. Charles. Uh, June 10th is going to be canceled. So there you have it. Ain't that sweet? No, it ain't. Food trucks. Ah, food truck June 16th. Maybe they're going to have that one. I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope, but I doubt it. Anyway, it says join us in Frontier Park for this food truck event. Enjoy live entertainment as you indulge in a variety of delicious foods. Op, uh, uh, options that will be available by se uh, several different food trucks. That's right. Ha uh ha, -huh. mm-hmm, oh, 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 
Uh, food truck vendors, that is, bring your family and friends out for a relaxing event in the park. Please keep in mind that some of the trucks uh, at this event are cash only. So don't forget to carry your cash and your gun to protect it with. Well, you may be not supposed to carry your gun, but hey, I know I would if I could hold on to one. See, case scenario, somebody breaks into my house. Well, I'm like, okay, can you do me a favor? Here you go. They break in. They come in. They say, all right, I'm going to steal all your gold, all your money, and all your possessions. And I'm like, well, you can't do that because uh, this house is gun protected. And so what I want you to do is go over there where I keep all my gold. And you see that that um, pile of gold there? Pick that all up, scrape that all up, and right there underneath it is the key for my gun lockbox. Okay, now that you've got the key for my gun lockbox, I want you to go in there where I keep all my silver. And I want you to um, grab all that silver and move it out of your way so that you can get to my gun lockbox. Now take the key, stick it into the lockbox. Now turn that lockbox and key and open it. Now, once you've got that done, go over here where I keep all my platinum. Now, I want you to take my platinum and just move that to the side because you're not going to be needing that because we've got this gun. We've got a, a gun now, and we've got uh, we've got the key. we got the gun out of the lockbox. Now we're over here. We need the key to the uh, trigger. So the trigger lock is under my platinum. So you take the key from my trigger lock and you... Um, get it out from under my platinum and you unlock my trigger now then that you've got that uh taken care of let's go over here to my fine china i mean my fine uh my silverware now that we're at my silverware um uh go through that there and um find my other key and uh we'll find that for my uh ammunition uh lock box okay now then Let's go into the uh, place where I keep all my uh, um, bonds, stocks and my bonds and everything, so that we can go into there and we can get my ammunition. Well, actually, no, we're not getting the ammunition. We're just getting the clip for the gun. Now that we've got the clip out from there, now this is where I keep all my spare cash that I keep in the house right there now. Once you've got that, you can grab my ammunition, move that cash out of your way. You're not going to be needing that because now we've got the gun. We've got the um, key. We've, we've got the key. we got the gun out of the lockbox. We've got the um, pistol trigger off of the um, pistol trigger lock off of the gun. We've got the um, clip out of its uh, place. We've got the uh, um, ammunition now. And now we're about to load the gun. So go ahead and load that gun for me, please. Thank you so very much. Now, can you just hand it to me so I can shoot you? Oh, shoot. I just dropped the stupid... Will you pick that up and hand it to me again? Oh, oh shoot. I dropped it again. Can you try it one more time? All right, now then, just stand right... Oh, man, I dropped it again. Doggone it. Will you just pick that gun up and kindly place it to your temple and pull the trigger... 911, what's your emergency? Uh, this guy broke into my house and he committed suicide. What do you think? You think I can get away with it? I don't think so. But hey, that's what the hassles you have to go through if you're a quadriplegic and you want to get out your gun to save your house. You just go through all the stuff and all your valuables to find all your keys and everything because you know you don't want your kids knowing where all your uh, real valuable stuff is because, well, they'll run off to the pawn shop with it or something. So you got to hide your key there, and then you got to hide this there, and you got to hide that there. And, well, by the time you get everything out and about where it's supposed to be, your burglar knows where everything's at because they've been following you around the house. And uh, now that you've got all your protective equipment off your pistol to fire at them it's too late anyway that's the whole details about having being a quadriplegic and having a gun you just can't do it you just got to be understanding that uh, you're not going to get out of this alive mister all right well the food truck event's not going to be uh 
music on Main. That one's not going to be shut down June 17th, 2020. Join us the third Wednesday of the each month. Uh, that means May through September for from 5 o'clock p.m. to 7.30 p.m. Uh, uh, down at the 100 to 200 block of North Main Street. Bring your lawn chairs uh, to the free outdoor concerts. That's right. Food and drink is available. Uh, let's see. Who's coming this first one uh, on the 16th? Uh, the 16th. I mean the 17th of June. Uh, da, 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 da. Who's it going to be? Come on now. Uh, music by Jer uh, Jeremiah Johnson. That's who it's going to be this time. Jeremiah Johnson on the 17th of May June. 2020. That's in the 100 to 200 block up North Main Street. Okay, okay, okay. I know, I know, I know. Get on with it. That's right. Okie dokie, my friends, Smokey. Um, because I enjoy the music on Main, and I never bring a wheel, uh, I never bring a, 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 a lawn chair. I just don't do it. I don't do it. I'll either steal somebody else's or I'll just stay in my power chair and and do that. I'll just sit in my power chair and there. That'll be the size of it. Sometimes I go down to Maine on the Katy Trails. Sometimes, well, I used to take the uh, um, uh, trolley, trolley, the St. Charles trolley. I used to run the trolley all the time, but you know how that goes. Check here for local businesses updates and stuff for coronavirus, uh, COVID-19 updates. Read more How about that. Coronavirus updates, COVID-19. The COVID-19 is having an uh, increasingly significant impact on communities and tourism across the country. The situation is fluid and changing rapidly, and our foremost concern is for health and safety of our uh, uh, state stakeholders, residents, and visitors. We want to assure you that we are working closely with the city of St. Charles to monitor the situation and staying in touch with St. Charles County uh, State uh, Safety Authorities. The best defense in fighting this spread of virus is to implement strict health uh, hygiene protection or practices, meaning wash your hands, but don't wash your hands every 20 minutes for 20 seconds. Uh, you know, that's what they recommended at first. And uh, you're going to have no skin left on your hands if you do that. Another thing is, um, then you're going to use the, uh, whatchamacallit, what's that other stuff called? The uh, hand sanitizer. Let's squirt some pure green pure grade straight alcohol with a little bit of uh, oil to make it smell funny um, and onto our hands every uh, 15 minutes so that we can rub that alcohol in there and take all the oils out of our hands so that we have no oil in our body anymore so that we can't uh, so that if we touch something we don't have anything to uh, fight off keeping the uh, keeping the germs out of our system anyway because oil is what supposedly helps it to slip off of our fingers and stuff and whatnot. But if we've used uh, hand sanitizers every 15 minutes or so, we've got no oil left in our hands to keep that off of us either. Oh my goodness. Don't they know anything? Don't they know? They don't know. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they've done. <laughs> That's what I have to say about it, I'm sure. Anyway, look, let's see if we can't find some uh, some sort of a story stuff. How about that? I'm tired to do an Aesop's Fables. Readers to the rescue. How about the Esquire Corpse? About the Exquisite Corpse Adventure. Exquisite Corpse Adventure? Walter Dean Myers is the new national ambassador for young people's literature. Every har heard ever heard of an exquisite corpse? Well, it's not what you might think. An exquisite corpse is an old game in which people write a phrase on a sheet of paper, fold it over to conceal part of it, 
and pass it on to the next player to do the same. The game ends when someone finishes the story, which is the which is then read aloud. Oh, okay. Exquisite core adventures. So, works this way. John Sussitz, the National Ambassador for Young People Literature, has written the first episode, which is a piece uh, together out of so many parts that it is not possible to describe them all here. So, go ahead and just start reading. Well, okay then, let's do it. Let's read The Exquisite Corpse. Oh, well, it's not going to let us read The Exquisite Corpse. It's Now, what kind of thing was that? It wasn't even going to let us do it. Read it, The Exquisite Corpse Adventure. Da -da -dee -dee. Dum -bum -bum -bum. A very unusual and completely amazing story pieced together out of so many parts that it is not possible to describe them all in, right here. So, go ahead and just start reading by John Sussex. This story starts with a train rushing through the night. The full moonlight lights uh, the silvery rails, winding around dark mountains and through deep woods and over steep gorges of jagged rocks and a one freezing cold rushing black mountain river. I wish there was enough time to describe all of the funny and touching twists and turns, especially the elephant clown party that led up to now, but there isn't enough time. Oh, let's go back a page. I messed up. But there isn't enough time because there is a tricking, a ticking clock, and the two passengers we come care most about don't know anything about it. So, in a sleeping berth in the third car from the end of the train are two children, 11-year-old twins who have joined, just ran away from home uh, from the circus. They ran away from the circus. Okay, well then. Uh, the girl's name is Nancy and the boy's name is Joe. Now, they have no idea that those are not their true names though they will figure it out soon enough. Up until now, two hour, up until two hours ago, Nancy and Joe thought they were orphans. They turned out to be not true either. Joe holds up the birthday card that, his, that has suddenly changed their lives. This is not even the in code. If our real mom and dad are such secret spies, wouldn't they have at least written in code? Maybe. Maybe they did didn't have enough time, said Nancy. Happy, help now, follow, cir uh, follow clues, rescue us by piecing together the exquisite corpse. Birthday, love, mom and dad. Ha ha! That sounds like clues to me. What do you think? Sounds like clues to me, too. Well, let's see. Uh, um, hmm. Hmm. Right now. Okay. Gets right to the point. And there is uh, this mark. The, uh, the same mark we both have on our right little uh, toe. Who else would know about that? So Joe frowned. But we don't really know if we are going to the right place. We don't really even know if the exquisite corpse is the top secret ro robot we are supposed to piece together. And we don't really know how to help. Joe was right uh, to be worried, but he was worried for all the wrong reasons.
The note was from their real mom and dad, and they were going to the right place. The exquisite corpse was a very top-secret robot that could only be assembled by them. And because they had been raised in a circus, Joe and Nancy had been perfectly trained for just that moment. Just this moment. Fire juggling, trapeze flips, sh uh, sharpshooting, bull whips, bull whip stunts, and a uh, lock picking, lion taming, bareback riding, and knife throwing, snake charming, disappearing, uh, sword swallowing, and other circus skills can come in handy in all sorts of situations. What Joe should have been worried about was the clock. The first The first uh, ticking clock. Uh, oh, so much more to explain. So little time. And here uh, you will just have to piece to get things together yourself. If the train makes it over the tracks, uh, the last treacherous gro uh, gorge, there is a good chance that you and Nancy and Joe will have to deal with what werewolves and mad scientists, real ninjas, and fake vampires. One roller skating boy, baby, a talking pig, creatures from another planet, and possibly another dimension. Killer po poetry clues, killer poetry clues from the uh, from class children books and two essay riddles, so several bad knock-knock jokes, plenty of explo explosions. Where'd my thing go? There we go. Well, come on, work. Wake up. Mouse click. Okay. Mouse click. Go to sleep. Okay, here, where were we? Several not bad knock-knock jokes, plenty of explosions, a monkey disguised as a pirate, two meatballs, a, pl a blue plastic Star Wars lunchbox, missing its matching thermos, and three ticking clocks, and not just one bad guy, but a whole army of villains, cads, Scowly, scallywags, sneaks, rats, vermin, varmints, and swindlers. Also, several uh, desperados, a gang of el evildoers, and one just plain bad egg. And you know who will have to piece together the exquisite corpse? Ah, but the first ticking clock is it is attached to the last ba bridge and of course there is a wire at that leads from the clock to an entire bundle of dynamite joe and nancy's train rushes forward at towards that bridge and the second hand of the clock has exactly 47 more ticks before it reaches its very explosive alarm time Joe looks once more at their birthday card. So, now, what do we do? Okay, hey, that was page 11. That was the first uh, episode of The Exquisite Corpse. And so tomorrow, we will be reading a little bit more of The Exquisite Corpse. I got to remember that page. Wake up. Wake up, start notepad. Exquisite corpse, page 12. Mouse click, mouse click. Shen show story. Correct that.
choose three. Mouse click. Okay, there we have it. That would be the sin show. Go to sleep. Wake up. Click cancel. Mouse click. Mouse click. Click yes. Start dwell clicker two. Go to sleep. Okay, there you go. Now, it looks like it's about time for our portion of the program called Our Daily Red. Sorry about that. Um, I had to get my computer all set back up where I was. The Knife Angel. The Knife Angel? Oh, my. Our Daily Bread is brought to you by The Bible with Briscoe 2020. Yes, it's a daily reading of the Bible with uh, two sections of the Bible, one from the Old Testament and one from the New Testament. And so each um, scriptures that we do do will be um, read so that we can complete the Bible within 365 days. That would be one year. Alrighty, um, if you keep in touch or watch with uh, watch the Daily Bible, uh, the Bible with Briscoe 2020, then today's uh, scriptures will be First Chronicles 13 through 15 and John 7 1 through 27. All right, let's see today's um, uh, our daily bread. The scripture, the the uh, devotion is the knife angel, and we will be reading Isaiah tw uh, two one through four. Isaiah two one through four. Actually, okay. This is what Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the last days, a mountain, uh, the mountain of the Lord's temple, will be established as the high, highest of the mountains. It will be exalted above the hills, and all nations will stream to it. Many people will come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the temple of God of Jericho. Um, he will t teach us his ways, so that we may walk in his paths. The law will go with, uh, will go out from Zion, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. We will, he will judge between the nations and will settle disputes for many peoples and this will they will beat their sword swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks nations will not take up sword against nations nor will they train for any war any more and so there you have it isaiah 2 1 through 4 talking about the end times the knife angel knife angel knife angel could you be mine oh wait a minute that's not exactly the words for that song uh, what are the words for that song um, song lyrics earth angel Earth angel, earth angel, will you be mine, my darling, my dear? Love you all the time. I'm just a fool, a fool in love with you. Earth angel, earth angel, the one I adore, just you. Forever and evermore, I'm just a fool, a fool in love with you. I fell for you and I knew the vision of your love's loveliness. I hope and I pray that someday 
I'll be the vision of your half happiness. Earth angel, earth angel, please be mine, my darling, dear love. You all of the time, I'm just a fool, a fool, fool in love with you. I fell for you, and I knew the vision of your loveliness. I hope and I pray that sometime, someday, I will be the vision, the vision of your happiness. Oh, 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 earth angel, earth angel. Please be mine, my darling dear. I love you for all time. I'm just a fool, a fool in love with you. Oh, 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 oh. I haven't listened to the song for forever, so the Earth Angel part I know was right, but mm, anything else I don't know if it were right or not. Do, biddy, biddy, do. Anyway, hey, that looks like the end of it for me. This here be Shenandoah Briscoe checking out. That's right. Going to check out. Going to back on out. The uh, Shenandoah Briscoe uh, hour is gone. Well, it's not an hour exactly, but hey, it's 45 minutes and some odd seconds. So there you go. Anyway, hey, uh, this here has been Shenandoah Briscoe saying hello and how are you. Thanks for tuning in to the Shen Show. And as always, you know God loves you and so do I. So be blessed and come back and see me tomorrow because, well, hey, you know, God loves you and so do I. So be blessed and I'll see you then.